guys, it's your girl Lauren with Healthy Beauty and today I wanted to talk about reviews and all of the controversy that's come up around 2022 and 2023. Listen, it never started, it's always been going on, but I wanted to shed a little light as a creator to audience members and people watching people who also want to be creative. So get comfy, get cozy. If you're new here, welcome. We talk about beauty. We're going to talk about some current events and we're going to talk about like honesty when it comes to reviews. So that's been a huge, huge issue lately. Um, but honestly, it's been going on for decades, guys. And I wanted to shed some light. First of all, I'm going to link a video down below that gave me this aha moment. Conan O'Brien is being interviewed and he talks about kind of as him being himself and allowing his audience to either be receptive or not. Like, and it really worked for him. Um, and I think the biggest thing was, you know, everybody's learning. Doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how much experience you have. If you're open to learning, if you're open to constructive criticism, if you're open to your audience's needs and what they want, and you really hear the essence and the authenticity of what your audience wants, you are going to keep your audience and, and you may be lucky enough for it to grow. So I'm linking that video down below. Please check it out. It's very inspiring. It's very eye-opening. And it gave me the aha moment that this, the audience that watches, reviewers, YouTubers, creators, myself, all they want is honesty and they want positivity. A lot of people got it wrong and it took me a couple months to really, really think about this. And I took my time on this subject. I really wanted to just have a good think and hear what other people were saying, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? So number one, all of the creators and the people that you really love and speak to you and talk to you, they are 99% positive, okay? 99% positive. They are really talking about products that they like. We'll get into sponsorships in a minute. When I started this YouTube channel, I said, I have a ton of beauty experience. I want to get it. And I love fashion. I have a degree in fashion design. I've been in the cosmetic industry for over 20 years. I have over 20 years of sales, blah, blah, blah. Right. But that's me. That's who I am. Um, I've always worked behind the scenes, but I felt like I had a lot to share and I just want to be part of the YouTube community. I didn't have a lot of expectations other than exciting, delighting, and relaxing you when you're watching a video of mine. To come away with maybe something you didn't know or just a good feeling. And that has always been in my the back of my mind in the front of my mind so I don't know why this was such an aha moment for me until all this negativity came out about other influencers I'm just talking about influencers who have positive reviews now I did a little little sidestep and I did a couple reviews that were negative one of them was on a beauty product it's still linked it's still I'll link it down below you can see what you think but it was negative it was a very popular product. Tons of people liked it. All ages, all skin tones, all skin types. Most of them loved it. I did hear some chatter in the background. They didn't like it. I tried it. It broke me out. It made my skin look terrible. I finally had a skincare company clear it up and that's another video. But the video was pretty negative. It didn't talk well about the product. It didn't it didn't talk well about who it didn't serve or who it did serve, which I didn't think it was anyone. And it did get a lot of views. So we're going through all of this review stuff, all of this sponsorship, all of this, which that wasn't sponsored my video. And I watched Conan O'Brien. I'm thinking, wow, he sits there in the video and says, be yourself. You're obviously your best self. You're not going to make a video after some kind of, thing that it, maybe you've been let down. Maybe you're the type of creator who can make a video. It doesn't matter what time of day or night it is and you can make a video and you can engage your audience. For me, 
I want to be in happy chipper mode so mood so I can get that across to my audience because that's what I watch I watch positive people so anyway that review I made was negative didn't get a lot of comments then I hear other creators saying I'm gonna give honest reviews I'm gonna tell the truth well honesty and negativity are different you can be positive and honest and engage your audience. That's what those YouTubers and other people who are creators on other social platforms are doing. They're being positive. I would almost say, bet to say, every 10 positive things you say about one item, you can only see one negative thing. I'm not saying change who you are and how you review things. If you have 10 million viewers, you're doing something right stick to what you're doing and i think that's what i got from conan be yourself and hopefully your audience will come but there is a learning process there is an aspect to what is my audience like i know my audience loves handbags i know they love beauty and i know they love positivity so when all that noise came out a few months ago about a creator not being honest well they were positive it was a sponsorship i've been in sales for beauty companies beauty companies hired me in the past when i started out and they would say lauren this is our brand this is our brand essence this is what we are about they would download information to me that the public wouldn't get but that i was allowed to download to the public and say listen this is why we were created this is why the founder created the product. This is why it works. This is who can and can't use it. This is who it's suggested for, but, but whatever, and on and on and on, okay? I was not paid to talk trash about the brand. First of all, I wouldn't work for a brand that was trashy. I wouldn't work for an unethical brand. I wouldn't work for a brand who does things that might have chemicals in them that are harmful. We just found out about dry shampoos that have cancer causing ingredients in them. Big name brands. Sometimes you work for people and the relationships change. Either the company goes in a different direction or they go in a different direction with you. So collaborations are not for a lifetime in most cases. And so we should be very happy for other creators that are getting the opportunity to collaborate and to get sponsored because that's how your favorite people continue to thrive. And we want everyone to thrive in every category. So I guess what I'm saying is, being positive versus being negative, you can still have an honest review. And you're gonna see people get nasty, and you're gonna see people that are going to threaten to be nasty, just to get views. And those people aren't going to do well because you guys don't want that. You want positivity and honesty. So going back to what I was hired to do is you have to trust that the person has your best interest at heart. My best interest is you guys providing the information to you, let you decide if you want to purchase it. And it goes so much beyond purchasing. I mean, they're reviews, they're to excite you and delight you. It's not to make you run out and buy a product. In most cases, when YouTubers and creators start out like myself, we're not getting million dollar, hundred thousand dollar deals. You have to have thousands upon thousands, even millions of views and subscribers to get those types of deals. So anytime someone like myself is doing a sponsorship or collab, it could be me reaching out to the company saying, hey, if you don't mind sending me a couple of products, if I love it because I know skincare and makeup, I know if I'll like it or not based on the ingredients, I do my research first, I don't need free products. It's really what I want to bring to you. And I test it out. Let me test it out. And then I'll do a review. 
You know, there's all kinds of different ways people do collabs and sponsorships. It's not all about money. Now, as you get higher into um, the creator atmosphere, you do get paid just to make a video. You do get paid based on views. But those are people that are really, really high up there. For me, it's I like something and I want to share it with you. Discount codes. Discount codes is like, listen, I'm going to do a great review for you. I love my audience. I want them to get something in return. I want them to get a discount if they're interested. That's it. There wasn't, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars to give a code. Sometimes they just want to track it. Sometimes they literally just want to track if your audience was receptive. And then the collaborator may say, Lauren, let's do this a couple more times. Let's see what your audience thinks. And if they're not, we'll move on to another collaborator. That's how it works. It's not thousands and thousands of dollars and it's not anyone hypnotizing anyone trying to purchase it. Now, you guys are so smart. You know when someone's not being authentic. You have that instinct when someone's not authentic because I know I do. And I can tell you, I watched YouTube for a long time before I became a YouTuber. And I did not buy products that YouTubers suggested because they were trying their shade, their makeup on their face. They weren't talking about ingredients. They weren't talking about a lot of the things I talk about with this is gonna work for this skin type, it won't work for that skin type. They were literally just putting makeup on, applying makeup on to themselves that work for them. That doesn't speak for every skin tone. It doesn't speak for every skin type. That's what I do. That's what you find at this channel, okay? It's not this skin tone, this skin type, take it or leave it. That's not what this channel is about. That's what all of the YouTubers in the past were like. I'm just gonna try it on for you, which is fine because people were engaged with them. But now you guys are too smart, you're too savvy. You know ingredients, you wanna stop the signs of aging, you want to reverse the signs of aging. All of this, I'm talking beauty, okay? So people are not going to be able to back that up, right? If they don't have the experience. So you come to my channel if you want to hear experience, if you want to be excited and delighted and have fun. That's what this channel is all about. But what I have found is you guys want positivity. All you need is one negative review about something or to read online. You don't need to come to YouTube, to my channel, to hear negative Nelly. So for 2023, you're going to hear a positivity from me because that's the secret sauce, being yourself and being positive. And that's how I started out. And then I was like, oh, we have to tell the truth. Oh, I've been telling the truth. Oh, we can't just be positive. Yes, we can. Those negative people have an agenda. Those negative people have an agenda to take people down and take people out. People who are thriving, either companies, other companies, or other creators. And that's not what we do on this channel. That's not what we do. And that's not what audiences want. So if you're thinking about becoming a creator, be yourself, your best self, right? Be your best self, be positive, if something irritated or agitated you, I'm going to give you an example. I had a collaboration coming up. I was just given a product. I said I would review it and bring it to my audience if I thought it was great. Now, it was a money earning potential for me. Something that I could actually earn money because I thought the product was amazing. And so I tried it and I had an allergic reaction to it. And no one was more bummed than me because they still have a ton of people that use it that it didn't irritate them. And those people are doing well. But I can't use a pro I can't even apply the product the way it's supposed to be used 
because I got an allergic reaction. So I had to tell them, I am so sorry I had an allergic reaction. I'd be glad to send this back to you if you want. It was a hygienic product. I knew they weren't gonna want it back. It wasn't a million dollar product. I knew they weren't gonna want it back, but I just told them. Held on to it for a month to see if they got back to me and said, yes, we want it back. And then I threw it away. And that's the word, I didn't give it to anybody because I didn't want them to have an allergic reaction. So if you have a credible, and you'll find out through time, right? You'll find out through time if they're a credible creator. I couldn't show the product. Devastating, not, not, in the, not in the term that, you know, the money potential, which was, would have been nice, but I can't recommend something that irritated me. Maybe it wouldn't irritate anyone else and it just irritated me. I couldn't take that chance with my audience. Those are the things. Those are the things that are important. I understand people, if you feel someone's being dishonest and you feel like somebody's doing something for clout or for views, you have to make that decision on your own. The best thing to do is if you are so inquisitive, you don't know which side to believe, to buy the product yourself and keep your receipt returned if it doesn't work. And those are the fun things that can be done. They're fun. They're fun to try new products. But I'm not going to go out and buy a product that somebody got 50 million views on and do a re review on it. It's been done. They've reached 55 million people. It's done. Like it's old news, right? even though it's long news, even though people talk about it over and over, but that's a success in itself, right? Um, but yeah, we get launches in the beauty industry that, man, you look at the wand and you're like, this is a joke or, you know, most of the time the companies I've always worked for sometimes would come out with the kitschy thing that you knew wasn't gonna sell and it disappeared and that's okay. But most of the time when you're working for a company that you really believe in, like I've done, that you're really passionate about, that you want to help them, um, you're getting paid to do it, your job is to be positive. My job here on my channel, and I'll tell you when it changes, is to bring you beauty and fashion, jewelry, fragrance that I really like. And what I love about the fragrance industry is that you have every age and even beauty every age you have every kind of different like person out there with different scent different sense of smell and you can pick somebody who loves who has a nose like you so say for instance i love ariana cloud i love um some new victoria secret scents I love, and I'm gonna share those with you in the future. I love some new fragrances that have come out or just things that are new to me that you may not have thought of. I love talking about dupes, fragrance dupes. So that kind of stuff really excites me. So I wanna bring it to you. Then I look at the views and most of the time, um, the views come with the positivity. So for 2023, the rest of 2023 on this channel, it's going to be positive. Now, I am a private consultant that beauty companies hire to give them advice, to get new business, to get new customers, which is the same thing, to get views, to get their social media up and running, just all kinds of different things when it comes to the beauty and the fashion industry, especially beauty, skincare, makeup, hair care, you name it, I can do it. Um, I've even done this in different industries before, but I am a sales girl and an advertising marketing expert in the beauty industry. So I have deals that last anywhere from two weeks to two years and they never overlap, so I'm never working with two skincare companies at the same time or two makeup companies. Um, a lot of the time, the workload is heavy enough to just work one contract um, position at a time. But I'm able to give them my all 
and then it doesn't really cross over with YouTube unless they ever ask me to, which hasn't been the case so far. It's usually very confidential and I'm able to help brands get to the next level or give them advice where they should be. 99% of the time, the advice I give, regardless if the person is receptive or not receptive to the conclusion I've come to with their business, it's been right. So I love the beauty industry, but more than anything, I'm very, very cognizant of what I tell my audience and share with you. And yes, I lose out on things because of my integrity and my knowledge, knowing that I can't share certain things with you. But man, when I can, I will. When I can share things with you, I will. When I can give you a great deal and a great idea, I've got some really unique things coming up that some YouTubers have talked about, but not a lot. And so I'm just looking for all of those things for you guys. It is truthful, but positive. So now we know as a whole community, creators in all, let's be honest. And let's be positive when we're being honest. Because I'll be honest, I have seen the negative, I'm gonna be honest, side. It's not pretty. It's not pretty and it's not a good look. And I am not jealous of anybody. If they have one more subscriber, one million more views, I'm trying to learn from them. I'm trying to see what people like. And all I can tell you is the secret sauce, if you're wanting to do this, it's positivity. Man, that negativity looks like jealousy. And some of the people that are jealous, it doesn't make any sense. You're gonna have different people. You are gonna have people who say, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how he does it. But I'm not asking those questions. When I see people with a lot of views and a lot of subscribers, I can tell these people are happy or pretending to be happy for you to give you the best that they've got and to be honest and to give you tips and tricks. And some people are comedic. Some people have great stories and it's just amazing to see and to have this clarity on what honesty is. No one's gonna hire a collaborator that's negative. No one, no one. Cause then they're thinking, okay, if they don't like this brand, are they gonna out me? Are they gonna tell on me? When you sign a contract with a company, you are signing legal documents stating that you can only speak to certain things. No one talks about salaries in the real world. Nobody's gonna tell you if it's based on views or if it's based on sales. I can tell you, I asked them for the product. I'm not getting anything out of it, but the product I wanted to try and share it with you. I could be honest and tell you that. But these big high dollar collaborator and collaborations, they're not gonna tell you. And they're bound by legal documents to where they cannot disclose information even if they wanted to. And that's the big time. And instead of being jealous and negative about people who have hit the big time, it's everyone in the community, in any category, to either ignore it or to be happy for that person. There's enough for everyone. And yes, people rise and they fall and they rise and they fall. Everyone has their hot times. You, you can look at my videos. Lots of views, little views, lots of views, little views, okay? On my level. You can't be at the top of the food chain forever. And that's okay. As long as I'm exciting and delighting you guys. As long as you are either learning something or, or finding something out or going, oh my gosh, I'm so glad she described it that way because 
I don't want that. Maybe I'm going to tell you something and you, I mean, I've watched so many videos, YouTube videos and other platform things and reviews where I've said, oh my gosh, I am so glad she said it had that note in it. I don't want that fragrance. I was about to go to the store and buy it. So it wasn't because her review was bad or his review. It was because they said it had this particular fragrance note I didn't like, or the ingredient had lemon zest in it. And I don't like lemon zest or whatever it is, whatever. I'm like, thank goodness I didn't buy it. So it's interesting that some people say we don't want to be steered in the wrong direction with dishonesty and buy something and not like it. But for me, when I watch the videos, most of the time I'm saying, thank goodness she told about me, I don't like it. Now, of course, there are some things that I've seen that I go, oh, I have to have this, I have to have it. And then I go try it out. I buy it, I return it, I buy it, I love it. And that's the beauty of what we do. And my wish for you, if you're only going to be an audience member, is to find people that you can trust. One last thing, there was one YouTuber that came out a long time ago, and she was really honest with her audience. And she has over a million subscribers now. I'm not gonna call her out. But she was really honest and she said that she doesn't have a beauty background and that she's trying out the products with her audience. And she has a million followers now. She's a new house. She got divorced. She has a new house. She's got a new face. She's got a skincare line that's repping her, collabing with her right now. She's doing great. But the one thing she didn't do was lie and say she was an expert. At the time, I was an expert. I wasn't interested in her information because I found some flaws because she wasn't an expert. And I wanted to listen to experts or just reviews from people who knew more than me because I want to learn. And I was here and she was here. But guess what? She's got a million subscribers, maybe more. She left her husband. She has a beautiful house, a beautiful face. And when I say a beautiful face, she was able to fix the things that she didn't like about her face. And now she has a collaboration with a skincare company. There are so many things that YouTube and being a creator can do that can change your personal life. And she was able to reach out to her audience. She didn't, nobody knew for the longest time until she admitted she had just gotten a divorce that she had problems. So people weren't, it wasn't Dear Abby on her channel, but she was honest that she didn't know everything. So don't feel like you have to be an expert. Even experts are learning every single day, every day. But be yourself, be honest and be positive. You will be successful. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what you look like. I don't care about that. The people who don't do well are negative. I like people of all ages, from all over the world, telling me what they like, because I love to learn. So I hope this gave you just a little bit of insight of who I am, collaborations, and honesty and positivity. If that's what's going to come out of this channel and out of my mouth. I love your comments. I love that you're viewing. I love that you're subscribing. And we've got a lot of great things coming up with content. You never know when I'm gonna post, but I'll always give you a premiere so you can get ready and get comfy and cozy and watch. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you next.